guys, my name is Brittany Lewis and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, I post a lot of videos about college, my lifestyle, which kind of is college right now because I am a freshman. Well, actually, no. I just finished my freshman year at the University of Florida. I'm also in a sorority, Delta Gamma, and yeah, and I just like to give you guys advice and I like talking about beauty, fashion, makeup, a lot of makeup, and I hope One Direction comes back. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. I feel like we know each other a little bit better now. Comment about yourself in the comments if you want and we can have a thing. Also, please subscribe. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Also, I have two other main social media accounts that I highly recommend you follow if you're subscribed to my channel. First is my Twitter. It's Brittany Lewis YT, like Brittany Lewis YouTube. And I tweet updates on there about my channel. I ask you guys and I make polls and get opinions about what I should do with my channel next. Also, I have an Instagram, Brittany X Lewis, and I'm pretty proud of it. I really like matching my feed. I'm really into photography, and I post a lot of selfies on there, which you may or may not want to see, but yeah, make that decision for yourself. Go to Instagram, check it out, and follow me. Thanks, guys. Now I think it is time to get into what this video is really about. College parties. Um, I had a lot of you guys ask me to do another story time, but I figured that this would be a way more helpful video for you guys to watch. I know my audience is mainly college age women or high school age women, and I really want to help you guys be safe when you're out there at big colleges, small colleges, or just staying at home, just parties in general, because they can be a dangerous and scary place, or they can be really fun if you do it the right way and stay safe. I just don't want any of you guys actually getting hurt because honestly I appreciate you guys so so much. You guys are like my family, you're my friends, like I would, it would hurt me a lot if any of you guys got hurt. So please take my advice kind of seriously. I've actually accumulated this knowledge of parties from basically movies, books, um, my parents, uh, my school talked a lot about this kind of stuff, so that, my high school and yeah, and just other videos that people have made me watch throughout my years. I just don't want you guys being naive and thrown out into the big bad world and not knowing how to handle yourself. So that's why I'm making this video and it's basically just how to stay safe at college parties. So you know, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now I'm not saying that when you go to college, you have to party. I'm not saying that I party in college. I'm not a bridge drink. I'm not saying that I have been drugged. I'm not saying that any of these things that I'm talking about in this video have ever happened to me because I can't say that. But I really do still want to make this video and inform you guys and what you should know when you enter college. Also, college isn't all about partying and it shouldn't be all about partying. You should look at college as an awesome opportunity to expand your knowledge and to get out there in the real world and make connections and figure out what you want to do with your life but I don't want you being thrown into an uncomfortable situation, not knowing how to handle it and getting hurt, so I'd rather just talk about it than not. Knowledge is power, and none of this has to be scary, and you don't have to do any of the things that I mentioned in this video. You don't have to go to parties, or you can go to parties. You can go to parties and not drink, and you can go to parties and drink. It's up to you. I'm not condoning and I'm not promoting alcohol use or alcohol use, especially for underage people. Keep that in mind throughout the video. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> So, first of all, just right off the bat, the number one rule that I think everyone should follow and keep in mind is that if you're going to a party and if you're coming home late, first of all, because driving when you're late, you're going to be like out of it and you could still get in a wreck. It doesn't matter if you're drinking or not. If you're coming home and you were drinking, use Uber. Uber is the best. I highly recommend Uber to anybody. I use Uber when I go to big cities like New York City instead of taxis because Uber taxis, like, Uber's way better. Anyway, I love Uber. Seriously, I I actually heard about a couple accidents on, on multiple campuses this year involving drunk driving, and it's so sad and just a waste of life. And no one has to go through that if you just use Uber. It could cost like $5 to go somewhere, and that's such a huge difference, like, to the medical bills and the lifelong guilt if you kill someone while you're driving home drunk. That's just stupid, and don't do it, please, guys, seriously. Also, I would just avoid walking on sidewalks at night in any kind of college town because that's where people get hurt by drunk drivers the most. So just like, if you're not going out and you're not, don't be like wandering the streets is what I'm saying. Like be in a car, be in a vehicle, and if you're drinking and if it's really late, be in an Uber. So yeah, use Uber. Don't drink and drive. 
please, it's one of the worst things you could ever do. If you decide that you want to go to a party, please, 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 don't go by yourself, especially if you're a girl, don't go by yourself. Bring friends, go with a group. First of all, it's more fun to go with a group than by yourself. And second of all, it's way, way, way safer because you have people holding you accountable and making sure you get home and people that know where you were and where you went out and what you were doing if you get in trouble or go missing. You don't wanna just wander out by yourself and, and if you are going by yourself, if you have to go out somewhere by yourself at night, which I mean that really is never a need, at least tell people where you're going and tell people that you are leaving your dorm or your apartment and when to expect you to be back because that would be a horrible thing if no one knew and you were just gone for days and your parents didn't even know because they're miles and miles away and so yeah, horrible scenario, let people know where you're going, stay safe, stay connected, bring your friends, go with friends. Rule number three I would say, and these aren't in really in any particular order even though I still think drinking and driving is probably one of the most important, is that if you are and if you have decided to drink, know your limits. Don't just jump into a college party, first time ever drinking, and try to down like a bunch of alcohol and then not know how it affects your own body. Everyone based on weight and size and gender and just and, and many and, and genetics, many, many variables in this scenario, which is why it's so scary and complicated, takes alcohol differently. If you're someone who's a lightweight versus a heavyweight, you might be able to drink more than the other person is and you don't wanna black out, throw up, embarrass yourself, or get sick at your first college party. So just be careful, and I would recommend, if you decide to do that, to know your limits before going into the situation. Speaking of drinks, rule number four, know what's in your drink. Preferably, pour your own drink, or make sure you watch the person who makes your drink. Don't just, you know, accept a drink that was passed by to you through a crowd from a guy, cause that could be drugged, could be laced with, anything and it could contain any amount of alcohol in it and you might not even know how much it is. So if you don't know how strong the alcohol is or how much is in your cup, you don't even know what's going to happen. I'm the kind of person that likes being in control of like almost every situation. I'm a little bit of a control freak, not going to lie. It kind of freaks me out not being in control. I would like to know probably what is in my drink and it's safer to know what's in your drink so that you don't get sick or step out of your own bounds and get yourself hurt later or not remember what the heck happened that night because that sounds scary. <laughs> if you go to a college party with the intent of meeting somebody and hooking up with someone, okay, cool, good for you. It's your life, you do what you want with your body. But if you go to a college party and that's not your intent and that's not your purpose, don't leave the party with a guy. He might be really cool and he might be like, you know, like I'll just drive you home or like wanna go Uber back to my place, we'll eat pizza. First of all, that's usually a lie, they wanna hook up. And like, if you wanna hook up, you know, go ahead, lit, right? If you don't, it's a really uncomfortable situation and it's like awkward cuddling and also you gotta like Uber home at 3 a.m. if something bad happens. So I would just recommend not doing it. If you're planning on not hooking up right now in college or you're just not ready or you don't wanna like, and you know yourself and you know you don't wanna be put in that situation, just make it a thing where you end up in your bed every single night. Don't have sleepovers. Don't crash at people's places, don't crash at people's places that you don't know, and don't crash on the couch at somewhere else because bad things can happen when you're unconscious. So yeah, just end up in your bed at night and you'll be safe and sound, and it's easy. Just Uber home, and I think Uber has a thing where you can like plug your home into like the app, so you literally just click house, like very easy. Even an extremely wasted person could probably do that. Okay, I kind of lost count of the rules, so I'm just gonna start listing things off. <laughs> This is a story where like, I try to be like organized in one thing and just, no, it doesn't work. Um, keep your phone charged. Charge your phone before you go out. It's really terrifying to be in a situation you can't contact anyone or call an Uber because you don't have your phone. Your phone is basically your lifeline if you're going out. If you need to text your friends or if you need to call your mom or if something wrong, something horrible happens, you need to call 911 have your phone charged before you go out. And I think basically the last and one of the most important rules would be not to fall into peer pressure. And this is super, super lame. Like I don't like saying peer pressure because I feel like it ends up being this big joke that you hear all the time in like elementary school and middle school and you're like, haha, peer pressure. And like, get it, I, like, I made the peer pressure jokes. But seriously, like don't let your friends influence you in a negative way. If you're not comfortable with doing something or anything at all, you do not have to do it. It's that simple. And it doesn't feel like it all the time. Like sometimes I forget, wait, oh my God, I'm in charge of myself. I get to decide what I do. And that's really empowering to me. 
And I know like we can get swept up in trying to look cool and wanting to hang out with a different crowd, but it's never worth it. Just stick to yourself, stick to your own morals, stick to your own values. It's your life and you get to decide how to live it and that's what's so cool about it. So, you know, don't let peer pressure influence you and use Uber and be careful, know your limits and don't take drugged drinks and also stay with your friends and keep your phone charged. That's basically my probably best tips for going to college party. Also, just have fun. Talk to people. You don't have to drink to have fun. If you want to drink, cool. You want to hook up, cool. It's your decision, but just have fun. Be confident, be outgoing. Some people might, you know, I feel like it's scary to go up and talk to somebody, but they're probably just as nervous as you, and so if you just do it, it'll be a good time. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it helpful. I hope it wasn't too lame and sounded like a parent was talking to you, but I genuinely want you guys to take my advice because I was just a freshman, I've heard horrible stories, I've seen my friends and other girls go through these horrible things. Just, you know, I just want you guys to stay safe and have fun in college or high school or whatever party you end up at. Bye guys.